This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so we got Kodak Black. He is definitely on Kanye's album. Uh, I guess he got it on there before his arrest. Now, he is free, and he's going to be going to uh, some detox center, he said. So hopefully he doesn't go back to jail for violating. Harv, Pierre, and Diddy, they're demanding that the Jane Doe come out. That is on this lawsuit against them. They both have different lawsuits. Same, I think it's the same Jane Doe. And alleging that they they took advantage of this woman. Um, Harf Pierre, if you didn't know, was president of Bad Boy while Diddy was the CEO. Um, so they want to know who this person is. Of course you do. Of course you do. Because that, these guys have a lot of power and a lot of money. Harv Pierre, I think, is worth $100 million. Harv Pierre net worth. He's worth a ton of money, this guy. Nine, oh, maybe not. He's worth a few million, but Diddy is worth a billion. A billion, okay? Billions. So he has a lot of power. Now, 50 Cent. Um, has been targeting uh, Mace. I mean, I'm sorry, targeting Diddy using Mace recently. Um, he's been commenting on this guy, Roger Bonds. Now, Roger Bonds is Diddy's former bodyguard. He's getting paid to do interviews now because he knows the intricate details. Um, he he talks about Cassie's claims. You know, said they were true. Um, but then walked back his comments, right, on all that, right? So we don't know. But uh, he does do an interview with the Danza Project, and he doesn't really hold back there. I, I suggest you go check it out. Um, he talks about, you know, Diddy and him were really tight. I mean, he would spend holidays with them. Um, and, you know, Roger, uh, Roger recalled the time when Diddy downright doubted his ability to make similar income without him no one puff he's emotionless he said uh recalls diddy telling him all i care about is my girls i don't know how to be your friend okay um diddy obviously denies all this stuff that he's saying he says sickening allegations people looking for a quick payday let me be clear i didn't do any of these awful things this is a confusing guy, Roger Bonds. He's teetering on the fence. It's like go in or don't go in at all. Let me uh, let me clearly post where this is from so you guys can go and watch the interview. It is good, and they did pay for it, so you know nobody should be playing it. I know they definitely paid this guy. It's called Danza Project. Okay, so make sure you go there and uh, watch that interview. It's in detail. Then Meg the Stallion, she gets a some type of distribution deal with Warner. I'm surprised they gave her that with a disappointing performance on her recent song, Cobra. Like it didn't get received very well. And a lot of people were clowning the uh, streams and everything. Cause like for someone who just came off of such a big case with Tory Lanez, got him locked up. Had a lot to say. Not a lot of people checked in for her. So, but she did get an independent deal. Um, you know, she she put allegations in that song, Cobra, about Patterson Fontaine cheating on her. He addressed the rumors and he said, well, we were both texting other people and that is a form of cheating, but I didn't physically cheat. We... Um, we went our separate ways before we completely moved on. Meg The Stallion and Renee Rehab announced an upcoming collab. All right. And then lastly, we that's it. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button. I'll check you guys in the next one.